Hello and welcome back to the LT Jazz here on College Football 25. Your LT Jazz are 7-0. And today we're taking on at Middle Tennessee State, who are 1-6, I do believe. They have had a pretty rough start to their um, college you know, season. And it's not going to get any better as they go against the LT Jazz, who are just on fire, proving that maybe we do need to move up conferences uh, early on as well, right? Like, I, I didn't expect this year to be as good as uh, it's been. Now, I have subscribers on the team, so I should have known they would have, you know, played good for you, boy. But a 7-0 start looking like an 8-0 start, I didn't expect that. Now, um, we're not ranked because we, we, we haven't played a ranked team I wonder if, you know, if we were to go undefeated, even against like little schools, like what we've been doing is, oh my goodness, look at that. I wonder if we would at least get in the top 25. I mean, I guess time will tell, but as you can see here, we have not slowed down at all uh, with the success. I mean, 31 to 10, we're, we're covering two games today. I figured we'd go through this one a little faster since, I mean, it's kind of not close. We're seven and zero. They're one and six, and we we kind of dogged them. Now I will say, I uh, I almost let them come back. It, it wasn't necessarily on our team performance. It was more on my decision making, like the play calling. I got a little too conservative on offense, just trying to run the clock out. And uh, defense, for some reason, dude, that fourth quarter offense for uh, Middle Tennessee just went like insane. So they almost came back. We almost kind of screwed this one up. But uh, ultimately, we got the job done. Our defense doesn't look as good as they should have. But again, that's because I kind of I got a little too conservative. I didn't blitz any in the fourth quarter, and I just played conservative ball. You can kind of tell, right? I ran it 30 times with Jake Tricotti, which he didn't do the best uh, in this game. But Jay Fresh just continues to blow my mind. Like, he's definitely going to – he's full-time wide receiver now. He just plays so much better at wide receiver than he did corner just because of that speed and he, he's got the hands, you know, so we're going to keep him there. For uh, sacks, we, we kind of spread it out, get into the quarterback. You know, obviously we had uh, Noah Collins Jr. with that hit and fumble recovery for a touchdown. That was just insane, bro. I got so hyped when that happened. But uh, moving on, we did get a commit, Jimmy Mohamed. Jimmy Muhammad uh, did commit to us, so we got a lot of two-star commits. As far as around the league goes, you can see it here. You can pause for your favorite team if you want. Uh, Dynasty finally got updated. I hadn't had uh, access to this Dynasty file for, I think it was like a full day. And I finally got access to it. And supposedly they're supposed to fix the simulation. I don't think they have. Um, but... My biggest issue with this game right now is seeing like three and four team records in the college playoffs. Uh, but with that being said, let's focus on this series a little more. LT Jazz are ranked for the first time in their college program history. We are ranked 23 at a 8-0 start. And that's due to the fact that we haven't played any ranked schools. So I, I don't feel like... I feel like that ranking system there is actually pretty accurate, right? Like, we haven't really proved ourselves, but we are 8 0, so I feel like we deserve at least a top 20 uh, to 25, and that's exactly what they give us. But, like, my issue with this game so far is you'll see, like, Oregon State right now in this save file, Oregon State is 3 and 4, I believe, and they're ranked, or they're in the playoff hunt, like, they're in the top 12, so that makes no sense to me. But focusing on today's game, Jacksonville State, or Jack State, the Gamecocks here, they have a better roster than us, though it gives us the advantage on paper overall. I'm looking at their roster, and uh, if they were healthy, they would be better than us, but they're just beat up at this point. And as you can see right here, this is one reason why the LT Jazz are so good, and that's Noah Collins Jr. That's a defensive player getting two touchdowns in two weeks in a row so wow what a what an amazing player he has become 
so quickly. He is a senior, though, so we won't have him next year. But, yeah, our defense is just so good at getting off, you know, start starting off the game. So good for us. But uh, later in the following drive, Jacksonville State would drive down the field and get inside the red zone. Can LT Jazz defense bend but not break? We're going to find out here. Second and 10. Changing some things at the line here. Jacksonville State's had a pretty good year so far as it's a read option keeper by the quarterback. And Zion Turner will set up a third and one. But yeah, they're five and three. This is obviously a conference matchup. So a big a win here would be huge for Jacksonville State. Five and three so far in the year. I'm not sure what their conference record is, but they will get stuffed there. And they will have to... Oh, no. They're, they're going to go for it here. Fourth and two. I thought they were going to take a field goal. Oh, it's a direct snap to the running back. And that's the first time I've ever seen that play in college football 25. And it worked for them. Andre Devine gets up the gut for a first down. So... First and goal for Jacksonville State. If they want to win this game, they're going to have to be aggressive like that, I do believe. And that's not going to work for them there. Second and goal. Our run defense has been spotty at times, but when we're on, we're on. And now it's a run up the gut, and that's just not going to work. Oh, my goodness, what a hit. And it's now third and goal here. So pretty conservative there. Two runs, and I'm assuming it's going to be a pass here. And it is, and LT Jazz is all over it, but somehow he fit it in the button, but unfortunately for them, he dropped it. Now it's a huge pass down the field to Finley, our number one wide receiver, and that's a huge catch for him because now he has 1,520 career receiving yards. This is his final year with the LT Jazz, so that's pretty impressive to see. Bell. Stays in the pocket, going to scramble out. Oh, he's going to keep it and picks up first down and more. Jamie Bell is so good. He's arguably more impressive in the run game than he is in the passing game. And now this is going to be a handoff to Jake Turcotti, who goes out of the shotgun formation, picks up a decent game. Second and four, trying to give you guys different angles here. Broken up, almost caught by big boy Butter there. Our uh, guard slash tight end. Third and four, shotgun formation, one running back to the right, and pressure comes in, and Bell gets crushed. Jacksonville State rings the bell there, and they'll settle for a field goal. Later in the game, 10-3, third and seven. LT Jazz have kind of hit a wall here in this game. On offense, Bell is cold, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. As Jay Fresh, he's so good after the catch as well. He's, man, that's his first catch today, though. We got to get him more involved. Play action. Bell tries to, and we try to get Fresh involved, Jay Fresh there, but Bell took a hit there, guys. He got destroyed, and so as the coach, I'm making the call. I care more about his health here than, you know, and we got guys, you know, we got talent but you know, under him as well, so we are going to go ahead and sit him for the rest of the day. Okay, David Long is the guy we're calling on here. This will be his first start this season, but I do believe in him. He is not as mobile as Bell, but he does have the same kind of like arm and accuracy as Bell. They're pretty similar in the pass game. But that run game, that mobility will be taken out of our, our offensive game plan, uh, which will be interesting to see how we fare with that. But. Jacksonville State has the ball, and now it's another read option keeper by the quarterback. He's got nothing but space, and this is what they love to do here, and it catches us off guard. It seems to be even when we know it's coming, we can't stop it. First and 10. And another red zone trip for Jacksonville State. Last time they got a field goal here, but this time they'll get a touchdown. And that is a rare sight. But it's a sight that we're seeing today. It's a tied game before half. Usually LT pull away early. We'll see, can they compete in closer games? For the most part, they haven't had to be in this position all year. David Love has a guy open, doesn't see him. He's going to chunk it down deep to Jake Turcotti. And the defense has plenty of time to get there and play the ball intercepted. I don't know if you guys seen that, but Jay Fresh was open right there on that. That little, you know, slant route or whatever route he was on. It was just an underneath route. But uh, I guess David Lo David uh, Love didn't see him. 
And he, he was looking downfield. He was too occupied looking downfield for the big play. Forces something, and now it's Jacksonville State's ball right before halftime with time to, uh, to score. So we'll see. Huge play there by Dallin Wright. First and 10. In enemy territory again, threatening the red zone. And Jacksonville State got wide open, and there you go. Red zone trip again. One touchdown, one field goal so far in the game for these red zone trips. Jacksonville State looking really good. Shotgun. It's a weird formation. Uh, he's got way too much time. Just dumps it down. LT Jazz all over that, but you definitely want to put a little more pressure on a mobile quarterback like this. Second and goal. Jacksonville, or excuse me, LT Jazz send five, being aggressive, and it doesn't pay off. They can't get there in time. The man-to-man -man coverage fails, and Jacksonville State connect to Pet Petway, and they take the lead. Later in the game, 24 to 10. That's right. Late in the third, you see it. All right. No offense has been had for the LT Jazz, and once again. Jacksonville State is threatening to make it a three possession lead. That would be the biggest lead a team has ever had on LT Jazz here this season. And now it's another quarterback keeper. This time LT Jazz all over it. That'll set up a second and seven. LT Jazz need a stop here. If you don't get a stop here, I, I just don't, I don't know. I mean, you won't, you know, you have a whole quarter left to play, but I feel like it's over if, if you give a touchdown up here. Gonna dump it down and LT Jazz all over it. Good pursuit there, good closing. Turner changes some things up here. We'll see what he does. Third and four. And it's a quick pass. Slant caught. Yes, it is caught. He held on to it first down. First and goal. First play of the fourth quarter. Touchdown. Jacksonville State now has the biggest lead ever against. The LT Jazz this season. And it's David Love connecting to Dontavious Brown. Huge, amazing. That was a good pass in a really good route ran. First and 10, LT Jazz trying to show some life. It's a screenplay, and it's BB Jr. who's got it, and he's going to take it up to the 15 yard line. Nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. I mean, three possession game. It's never over, but you got to obviously score quick, and you got to score a touchdown. Third and eight. David Love, shotgun formation. Jacksonville State just sends the default four, and I'll give them time. It's Marius Elam to catch, and it's fourth and inches. And you know LT's going for it. It's BB Jr. up the gut, and he'll pick up a first down. So they're going to hurry this one up, rightfully so, and... Time is against LT here. The LT Jazz and touchdown Louisiana Tech Jazz. It's BB Jr. So that'll at least cut down the lead, the deficit that you have a little bit here. 17 to 31 though. Third and three. You need to stop here. LT Jazz in the full out blitz and it gets there. Just in the nick of time. Jacksonville State will have to punt this one away. And there's still plenty of time in this game. It's never over. Crazier things have happened. Jay Fresh has the return. And he had a really an amazing return that won Jacksonville a game earlier in the season. It's Big Boy Butter. Can you believe he caught that? I cannot believe that. What a pass by David Love as well. And then there's pass interference. It's clear as day. Dontavious Brown had him beat. And he grabs the jersey. He was all over him. Mark Woods makes a big mistake there. David Love, pressure in his face. He throws it. Touchdown to the number one wide receiver, Finley. The LT Jazz are now down by just one possession. With plenty of time on the clock, they would get a three and out and the ball back. First and ten. David Love, quick pass out here to Dontavious Brown, who's got the speed and takes it up the field across the 50. First and 10. Later, second and 12. David Love is going to dump it down to Jake Turcotti, who's going to take it out of bounds, stop the clock, sets up a third and three. The LT Jazz have somehow seemed 
to get themselves back in this game. I cannot believe it. Second and nine. David Love. He's on fire. He scrambles out to the right side. No one is open, and he doesn't have the speed. You got to think. That's Jamie Bell. He's probably taking that all the way to the end zone. Here we go. Third and seven. David Love has nothing but time. He's going to find Jay Fresh, who comes down with it somehow, but it's short. Fourth and one. So that means this could be the game here david love steps up in the pocket scrambles out to the right side he's looking he's gonna go for the end zone run he gets stuffed he got stuffed in jacksonville state gets the goal line defensive stop you've got to be kidding me and now the lt jazz need to get a stop here they get all three timeouts but that's gonna do it jacksonville stayed up across the 40 the 50 and wrap down it's over ladies and gentlemen jacksonville state upset the lt jazz and for the first time this season the louisiana tech jazz have lost wow i just cannot believe it zion turner he did a phenomenal today we could not stop their offense we just played horrible on offense and especially in the run game i mean jake turcotti we're not even going to talk about it we're not even going to talk about it, but no run game, no offense for the Louisiana Tech Jazz. And that's really all I have to say about that. We're going to put this one behind us, try and focus on the next game, and I'll see you guys then. Have a great day.